Okay, this is the video you guys have been waiting for, which is all the swim I wore on my Virgin Voyages cruise through the Caribbean about a week and a half ago. So, small caveat. Usually when I try on swimsuits for camera, I try them on here in my living room. I do a little twirl, et cetera, et cetera. This time, all of these suits I wore for the first time in the water. So I have definite opinions about what I like and what I like them for. Um, I have found that some swim stretches out in water and some swim is tighter in water. So hopefully this will be really helpful for those of you trying new brands to get a better idea of like how the fabric that these brands use work. So the first suit I wore was like day one on the cruise. It was this green suit from a brand I've never worn before, which is called Kalia. And it is, I believe, Carrie Underwood's swimwear line. So if you didn't know she had a swimwear slash active line, now you do. It's sold at Dick's Sporting Goods. Funny story. I used to work in advertising and, well, not advertising, like marketing. And the agency that Dick's Sporting Goods uses is called Huge. This is not made up. And I used to have meetings in my calendar that would just say Huge Dick's. And... <laughs> It is by far the funniest thing that ever happened. It worked. And they would always be like, I'm going to the huge dicks meeting. <laughs> it's so funny. It's still funny. But yeah, their ad agency of record at one time was called Huge. And that was the best. That's the only thing I remember about working on that account. That's all I remember. But, and what a thing to remember, right? Anyway, back to the swimsuit. Very comfortable. This one does get a little bit bigger in the water. In fact, I felt the top supported me a lot better when it was dry than it did when it was wet. So I would have actually liked a size down in the top, maybe even a size down in the bottom because they were a little bit less supportive than I like in this area. But again, when I tried them on dry, perfect fit. So just keep that in mind if you're in between sizes to probably size down in this suit. Otherwise, really high quality, double lined bottoms, nice details, good colors. Honestly, I would buy another one of their suits again. I'm just a little bit more informed about, you know, the sizing and how things fit. The next suit I wore is from oh, one of my favorites. Their suits always fit me, I think, the best of a lot of the suits or one of the best, I would say, which is Lime Ricky. You've probably seen them every year if you follow my channel for a while because I do really like them. For being active, they're just really good at staying in place. They don't ride up your butt. They don't come down very easily. And I was wearing a one shoulder here and I ran through the sand and it stayed up. And <laughs> let me tell you, a lot of suits wouldn't. I also like that this is a small business, women owned, et cetera, et cetera. Um, yeah, I really like the brand and I really like the way this suit looks on me. It's with a collab with Print Fresh, which is another small business that makes these really cool, you know, prints often featuring like cheetahs. I don't know why they always have cheetahs, but when I think of Print Fresh, I think of cheetahs on fabric. So in colorful variations. At the same place we went in this like cheetah suit, I changed into a neon suit, which I thought would be better for like climbing. There was this like obstacle course thing that I was not good at. <laughs> I was humbled by, I think is the best way to say it. I was humbled by. Um, and this suit I thought was, was from Show Me Your Moo Moo, which is a brand that's recently started making plus though, not in everything, which kind of frustrates me because I often go to their site and be like, oh, I want this. And then it's like, not in my size. But every once in a while, they'll have a banger in plus, and I think this suit is a banger. It's neon, it's color blocked, it's really cool, but it rides up my butt. Like it was riding my crack, especially with climbing. And I thought just the way it was constructed and the way it was on dry, that it would kind of hug under the cheek as I did things. But the more I wore it, the more it just went up. So again, this is a great example of a suit maybe getting a little bit bigger in water. And uh, top was fine, had no issues with the top at all. And honestly, the bottom would be fine for most activities. It was just like the climbing and falling, lots of falling actually, that kind of messed it up. So I, I feel like maybe I'm being a little harsh on this one because it's not the norm for a swimsuit to be doing all of the falling I was doing. One of my favorite suits on this cruise was a surprise. I didn't expect to love it so much, but it was this royal blue suit from City Chic. 
I've never had a suit from City Chic before. I had no clue how it would fit me. It was the same scrunch material or similar material to that from the Show Me Your Moo Moo suit. So I was concerned that it was gonna ride up. No, the suit was impeccable. Perfect, 10 out of 10, loved it. I felt fantastic. I love the way it looks on camera. I want I want to wear this suit all the time and I probably will wear it all the time because it fit just so freaking good. Um, I've said this before and I'll say it again. I think City Chic is upping their game. I don't know if they got a new designer or if they're just investing more in clothing construction. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's going on over there, but I'm all for it. Um, again, I have a haul coming from them in the future because I've just been so excited about what I've been seeing. I felt like I needed to. So <laughs> stay tuned for that. When we went like swimming with stingrays and on the boat, I wore a suit from a brand called Burlook. And I also wore this just in the Caribbean in general. Burlook is a small batch made, um, ethically made swimsuit brand, which is cool. I want to provide options for everyone and at every budget. So they are going to be a little bit more expensive. Here is my rub with them. They tend to get smaller in the water versus larger, which I had not experienced previous to this, but the bottoms, and it also could be because I have some loose skin, it just tended to like round out that I didn't see that same formation. Like it would give me like a bump here, like it was in a little bit too tight um, that I didn't have when it was dry. Also, I noticed that because it was again, getting a little tighter, when it got wet, I started to have a little bit of chafing on the region here, like in the, around the, the, the Fupa lady. <laughs> around her, I had a little chafing and again, did not experience that when the suit was dry. So I think it gets a little bit smaller when it is wet and I would potentially buy a bigger size in the bottom, not the top. The top was just perfect, honestly. But the bottom, yeah, I could have gone a little bit bigger. Uh, I do love everything we filmed in this suit. Of, of all the things we filmed in, we got probably the most epic content in this suit, which I think is like a little deceiving because it just, it just looks so dope. Like everything about this looks so cool. So the last suit we shot again on the boat in this like really cool X pool and also boxing for some reason. <laughs> I just wanted to. I'll do what I want. This suit is from Torrid, which is low key, like a guaranteed place to get a good suit for a plus body. And that makes sense because they do only plus clothing. I like their ones without underwires. This one does not have an underwire and I bless it because underwires are the devil. Heck, I don't even like wearing a bra as we've discussed many, many, many times. So having a suit that doesn't make me wear a bra in the water is awesome. I understand some of you guys need some support there or feel more comfortable in an underwire. Do you? They've got lots of amazing underwire bras suits, underwear suits available. It's just not what I personally like to wear. Also being more active, I just like things that are not going to rub as much. And I feel sometimes underwire like cuts into you when you're kind of running around having fun in the water. Either way, the striped suit was super, super comfortable. I really liked it. I really liked the colors and I just think it looks so dope. This is another one where I'm like, it just looks so cool. It just looks so freaking cool. Okay, that's all the suits I wore on the cruise. Uh, let me know if you like hearing things like about how suits fit when they're wet or sitting or all of that type of stuff because I feel like it's an area that doesn't really get covered a lot and I'm learning, especially as my body changes, it's a really important part of purchasing a suit that you love. So let me know if you wanna see more. With that, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Links to everything are down below. Check out the other two cruise videos. They are also linked down in the description if you haven't seen them yet. There are tons of fun and also there's great details on my outfits. Uh, yeah, that's it. I'll check you later. Peace. <laughs>